Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and a bit of a brand new series. Um, Brighton potential signings. Now this is possibly players that could be wearing the blue and white jersey for next season. Um, obviously it's only potential at the minute, there's no 100% uh, but hopefully a few of these will come across the line uh, before the deadline date on August the 8th. I am really am surprised how quiet the window has been this season for all clubs really. I mean, I know the Champions League final just finished and that, but I was expecting a bit more business than what has been. But um, anyway, good way to start the series off. A double header. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first player I'm going to talk about is Pontoon. Sorry if I mispronounced the name, I most probably have. Uh, but he, we're not favourite to get him. Um, he should be off to Real Sociedad in La Liga. Um, but his name has popped up, and the reason his name's popped up is that Real Sociedad is struggling to get the money together for this particular player. Um, he's only scored nine goals in La Liga, um, so. You know, would he cut it in the Premier League? I so much doubt it. But it'd be an interesting uh, signing, uh, whatever way you look at it. Um, anyway, about this player, he's 27 years old. So he's a bit um, older than me. Uh, you know, if we're looking to buy him, we're looking around about the 9 to the £8 million pound mark. Uh, the club he plays for has just been relegated for the Liga, so obviously I think that will take a cut. Um, his professional foot is a right foot. Uh, excuse me. Um, but, you know, he his professional foot is the right foot, so, you know, I think he's the same foot as Glenn Murray, um, same foot as Knockhart. Uh, you know, but I don't think he would do the job for the Albion. Um, I think we're getting one or two many players abroad, and it's not quite cutting out, especially under Chris Shooting, who is now no longer our manager. So it's going to be interesting to see what Graham Potter does in this window. Uh, obviously, we're not expecting a lot, but I am expecting a lot more of the team this upcoming season. So, you know, it's got to be one of them things, I think, where you're, you know, they're going to have to spend but invest it wisely um, to either try and, you know, um, get the players that I think could help us in. Um, anyway, enough of that. Uh, on to our second player, Jaden Bogum. Um, right back, Derby County. Yeah, again, another right footer. Um, you know, on the right, is this possibly a replacement for Bruno? Um, you know, it's he's 18 as well, so he's still quite young. Um, if this signing does go ahead, don't get that, leave us with three right backs uh, Shalotto, Montoya, and obviously Jaden. Um, his contract don't run out until the 30th of June 2022. So the next World Cup, yeah. But he's 18. I don't... You know, it's, if he comes to the Prem, it could wreck his career. Um, you know, is it going to be one of them things where we're invested and it don't quite work out? Um, obviously, I've already brought up about money we spent and I don't think we've invested it wisely enough on some players but you know will Jaden do the job um it'd be interesting if he does come in obviously we've got our under 23 team as well so whether we will drop down to that level before coming into the prem um you know we've got a lot more players hopefully to come up through the first team through the ranks um and I I know I really do want to see Aaron play this season, um, and a few of the others. Um, so you know, hopefully Graham will give him the chance this season. 
But um, anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.